All right, welcome in everyone. My name is Matt Seneca. I'm here with Ed McDonald, Territory Manager for PJ Tube and Webco. Ed, thanks for being here. Uh, we all kind of know what you do here, here with, with sales and everything and being a Territory Manager. What we don't know, what we would love to know more about, is you do something with, with raising goats, correct? correct? Could it be a farmer or a rancher? I, you know, that's a good question. It, it depends on, we're, we're going national. That's, that's the okay. That's the vision. That's the no, vision. Going right. national, yes. Mm -hmm. But right now we're starting off kind of as a farmer. Okay. You know, ranchers, we're getting there. I mean, we're adding and uh, we're learning. As so that's more ranchers, kind of more. It's, as it's a you little step up. Uh, step up. Step okay. up. But so, but you got to start somewhere, man. You know. How many goats do you have <clears throat> today? Yeah, uh, currently uh, alive. <laughs> yeah, alive. <laughs> we'll go with alive. Nine, I think. Nine. Cool. I counted this morning. I think there were nine still alive. Nine currently. Nine, okay. Nine today. And there's a very special one. I oh yeah, we do. Yes. We we we, uh, we do have one. Sp oh, we, all of them are special. Well, of course, all you of them are special. Yes, I mean, the reason he's special is uh, actually uh, we we had a, a white goat born, which is kind of unusual. Okay. You know, and uh, really cute. And I was going to give him to a friend. Give him to you if you'd like him. <laughs> After the interview, just you know, I'll stop by. You, you can get on our website and you know, log in for a free prize, All which right. is a goat if you want it. Okay. But anyway, uh, back to the story. We uh, we're raising the goats, and uh, it's a, it's a learning process, man. I can imagine. You gotta understand. I mean, you just don't just you just don't go out and in your backyard and throw some goats a, out there and put a hula hoop up and put a couple of goats in there. That just don't work that way. Okay. You, it takes years. We uh, we had this little goat, and I was going to give him to a, a special friend, mm -hmm. actually a friend that served in the military. Okay, wanted a goat really bad, and uh, I'm I'm friends with her husband, and her husband really didn't want this to happen. So <laughs> I, I just knew, as my wife always seems to win most of the arguments in my house, that she went out. So, to get back at my friend, her husband, I named the goat Mr. Ed. Believe this or not, this goat goes almost viral. Okay. Would you ask, how did that happen? I, well, of course, how, how did how that happen? How would that happen? Well, as it happened, it was in July, hot. Mm -hmm. Fourth of July coming up, my wife, who's head of all of our entertainment and, and our marketing mm -hmm. with our farm and mm -hmm. stuff, she decides to uh, dress the goat up and uh, put a little hat on him, you know, little American flag, <laughs> put him in a wagon with our youngest grandson. Huh? We're going to just be in the local 4th of July parade. Oh, Can, have you ever been in a parade? I have. Well, I have. Tell you, you know how special that is, it right? Is, Don't yes. Well, we were in the parade. Okay. Next thing I know, front page. Oh, man. Front page news buddy the goat has made it the goat has made it this thing started going viral did you know how i got into that hobby no how did you get into have we, goat have we got the time man uh, uh, sure why well, not well let me tell you how i got into it when i was little it's, i had a lot of you're really child verbal abuse okay people keep saying old mcdonald had a farm i can you, yeah. you heard it you know i have heard the song yes that. can yes. you sing a little of it Old MacDonald had a farm. E -I -E -I Can you imagine hearing that over? It would drive me insane. Over. Parents? Yes. Yes. I mean, it just it right. hurt me deep. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, the next thing happens, I start having dreams about chickens. Oh jeez. Well, can you ever have one of them? You've seen the movie Birds, where <laughs> birds are attacking chickens. So I have like a bird one to all this kind of. Yeah, I'm like, this is serious. Yeah, I mean, right. this is started right. off as a scarred child. Okay. So, but fast forward a few years, we moved into uh, Thaxton, Mississippi, where I'm the territory manager, and mm -hmm. bought a few acres of land. Being a nice guy, I am. We we start off with chickens. Okay. Next thing we know, go moving on to goats. And that's how we got to the goats. Oh my goodness. Full swing from being just totally. Just abused as a child to having a, to hobby having a of, full farm, of a goat farm, farm of yourself. And, but I didn't want it just to be a chicken farm. I gotta have goats. Got into goats. I appreciate your interest. In hey, in absolutely. Farm, Thank you so much for your time. You have a that great was, one that was day. You too. That was very fun. Ed McDonald, largest goat farmer in Thaxton, Mississippi. 